much. Honorable KT Amon has, has, has been here. We'll try and get some understanding of all the things he, he's saying. He's not very excited about what the speaker is doing. The first thing was supposed to be this. The decision, the ruling that I made on the particular day has been overset, has been stayed by the Supreme Court, Honorable. which interprets the Constitution, which interprets what we do over here. Accordingly, the status quo anti should be reverted to. So we would know that we are going back to this. Why should, I, why should the M NDC guys rush to go and sit on the side of the uh, NDC? What is that? Yeah. Yeah, but that is not the point. Where were they sitting? Where were the NDC people sitting? No, you are not listening to me. You are not listening to me. Let's get the fact right. Where were the NDC guys sitting? Is that, is, that, is that where they're supposed to be sitting? That, but you see, you know, we, have, we have a convention. We have a convention. It's not an argument. Nonsense. You guys are not listening. Supreme Court is spoken. It is not for us, members of parliament or the majority side, to be arguing at any point. This is a matter. This is foreclosed. It is completely foreclosed. Supreme Court is spoken. That is the end of the matter. The Speaker, the speaker of Parliament says, yes. when it comes to yes. sitting arrangements, yes. that is not his business. Again, again, he says you should come again, he and sit anywhere and listen, do the business. Listen, the others, the others, the orders of the Supreme Court were directed specifically to the speaker. It was the speaker, it wasn't the leadership, it wasn't the clerk, it wasn't the leadership which made that uh, ruling or that decision. It was the speaker of parliament who unconstitutionally made a proclamation, whatever is it that he said the last time. The uh, Supreme Court is told him that he was wrong. Restore matters to what they were so before you did that. Line of action for the MPP. Well, we will cite you for contempt. Hey. Who will cite the speaker for contempt? Watch the space. I mean, but, 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 there was no yes. business. Your side did not come. Keep on saying Where is the business committee? First, you should have sat yesterday. First, first, let's get for me. Let's get first, first, first. Yes. first and first. There is a ruling made by him. The ruling is been overset. You forcing me to repeat myself so many times. The Supreme Court is spoken. We want the decision of the Supreme Court to be respected. The speaker acknowledged the that what? Of the Supreme Court and that the what? He did. Two weeks he did say that he has been served with copies of the judgment of the Supreme Court. And so what has it? It's a sort of question of acknowledgement. It's a question of implementation of the decision of but, the Supreme Court. But no MPs, yes. none of the you four MPs have been blocked. Listening. No, yes, none of yes, but none of the four MPs, MPs have been blocked from coming to Parliament. None of them have come in here. No, no, and they've been no, blocked from may. accessing the you chamber of parliament. You are not listening. You are not listening. I, mean, I think I'm going to have to say this for the last time because it looks like some of you have become uh, impervious to uh, what is that. Listen to this. The speaker made a ruling. It was unconstitutional. It was unlawful. By any account, it was illegal. The Supreme Court. Contrary to the assertion by he himself and some members of the minority who keep proclaiming from high roofs and high heaven that the parliament is a master of its own rules and regulations, the Supreme Court is told Babbing and parliament that you are not. There, are, there is an institution which is the master of the rules of parliament and that this is what the law is. That you cannot make the decision, the proclamation that you made. I call it proclamation because you say he's a king, he's whatever, you know, he's a lord unto himself. But you made a ruling. It is not right. Supreme Court is telling you it is not right. Go back to that house. Honorable, 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 honorable,
you either want to take leave of your senses or you listen to what I am saying. If you are not prepared to listen to what I'm saying and just listen to your own voices, we're not going to get anywhere. Look at the policy of uh, cameras. Everybody is listening, but you don't seem to be listening and concentrating on what I'm saying. It is not a question of our presence in there or not. It is for the speaker. If it is only about 100 people who are coming to the room there, Minority and the majority will constitute the composition of the house in its entirety, which never comes in there, provided that we have enough to constitute the business of the to constitute the house and then start business of the house. We should do it. So even if we had 99, which is one third of what to form the quorum, it was for the speaker to make the announcement in the house that his ruling has been over, has been stayed, has been overset accordingly. Minority back to where you were, majority back to where you have been. That is the simplest solution that we talk about. Things. You say you are going to cite him for contempt. Yes. When are you doing this? Uh, watch the space. Watch the space. I yes. mean, finally, yes. the speaker says yes. that the majority has failed to convene the business uh. meeting. Uh, yesterday, you see, so that they can put the business. You see, for this emergency I, keep, I, keep, I keep saying that first things first. First things first, first is for the speaker to to declare in that house the same way as cathedral, the same way he did to make that. Well, you can keep on making that foolish statement. It doesn't take you anywhere. But what it is is that it is for the speaker to sit up there and make the pronouncement that the Supreme Court it's already overset his decision and accordingly. We should come back and sit where we sit. Then the business of the house. Thank begins. you very much. Honorable K. Tiamon has been quite vociferous in his opposition to what the speaker has done.